Okay, I've had a lot of people ask me since my last video, how do you know what everything is? So I figured I would just do this really short video. So we're gonna go up to off. So when it's off, you got no power going to anything. You got pump only, high cool, low cool, high vent, low vent. Now what it means by high vent, low vent, when you're on either one of these two settings, your pump is not running. There's no water going through your pads, okay? Now, when you're on high cool, and low cool, your pump is running, which means there's water going through your pads, makes it colder in your home or in your shop. Now, when I start in, when I ever, uh, I start up my swamp cooler, I always turn on the pump for maybe a minute or two just to get water going into the pads so that when I hit the high cool or the low cool, it's immediately cold and I don't get that stinchy dry air. Okay, so let's flip this over and I'll show you what each one of these wires goes to so we're going to leave it we're going to go from off to what they call pump only now on the back your hot wire comes in through this one on the bottom this is l1 over here is one two and then c i still do not understand what the c is so if anybody understands what the c is or knows please leave a description or leave a comment down in the descriptions so i'd really appreciate it so it's very simple you got your hot wire coming in here your low speed goes to number one. Your pump goes to number two, and C is high. So when you are off, the power isn't going through anywhere. When you go to high, cool, you're running power from here, and you're turning on the pump, and you're turning on the high speed. If you go to low, cool, now you're running power through here, and it turns on low speed, and then it turns on your pump. Very simple. Now, if you're just running high cool, what's happening with high cool is it's running your power through here and it just goes to here. Your pump is not running. Consequently, if you go to low vent, you're gonna be running your power through here. You're gonna shut off the uh, what do you call it? You're gonna shut off the uh, pump and you're gonna shut off the high speed, but it's gonna be on low speed. Pretty simple. So right now, we've got it right here on pump only. So let me show you what it does. I've used this before, everybody knows what it is. I set it to sound. When you touch the two together, it beeps. So we're gonna start right here. This is where our power's coming in. And if we stick it over here on the left, nothing. There's your pump. Nothing over here because those aren't turned on. We'll flip it over, really simple. We're gonna to go to high cool. Now we're on high cool. Now, there again, power on the bottom. We're gonna to go to the center one. You got power for the pump. You got power for high speed. Nothing on low speed. Just gonna go through all of them so you know, understand. You got power coming in again. Okay, now we're gonna come over here. Okay, we got low speed. You got your pump. Nothing on high speed. Okay, gonna go again. You guys get the idea. Now we're on high vent, no pump, which means right here, we got your power coming. Nothing over here on low speed, nothing on vent, but your high speed's coming on. Got one more, guys. Low vent. There again. I hope this video is helping you guys out to get your swamp cool up and running. Low speed works, no pump, no high speed. I wanna thank everybody for watching this video. I hope it helped you guys. I will link in my description this, which you can get on Amazon for I think $11. I will also link my Milwaukee tester. This is without a doubt the best tester. It's a little pricey. It's somewhere between $125 and $200. This has saved me so much time fixing things, not being shocked, there's a difference between shock and electrocution. Shock means you say, ouch. Electrocution means all your loved ones have tears in their eyes because you're no longer around. So definitely get one of these and test everything before you start. Shut off the breaker before you touch anything. And with that, I want to thank you all for watching my channel of how I do what I do. And I'll talk to you guys later on the next video. Have a great day, everybody.